Fairies in Aloria. In the heart of Mist Haven Village, two fairy sisters found themselves longing for adventure. The elder sister Elsa was confident and caring. She always looked out for her little sister Anna, trying to keep her safe. Anna, on the other hand, was a ball of energy. She loved the excitement and was always ready for an adventure. Or two. Every day in Mist Haven Village felt the same, and the sisters were growing bored. Elsa would often remind Anna to be careful and to stay out of trouble, but Anna found Elsa to be a bit bossy sometimes. She was so full of joy and just wanted to see what the world had to offer. I am so bored, Elsa complained one day. Me too, Anna chimed in. Did you hear about the Enchanted Forest? Enchanted Forest? Elsa questioned curiously. Yes, Olaf told me the other day that he met an old traveller in the field passing by that told him the story of the evergreen amulet. Apparently it's found in the Enchanted Forest, Anna revealed. Elsa sat up excitedly, intrigued by the thought of a mysterious adventure. Let's go and speak to Olaf, Elsa squeaked enthusiastically. Elsa and Anna ran straight to Olaf's snow hut, knocking on the door eagerly. Olaf answered the door and the sisters ran in quickly. Olaf, did you meet an old traveller the other day? Elsa said. Yeah, why? Olaf questioned. Can you tell us what he said? Elsa asked. Yeah, why? Olaf exclaimed. Oh, Olaf, just tell us the story, please, Anna said eagerly. Well, I was in the field, dancing with the bees, of course, Olaf began, when an old travelling man walked behind me. He gave me such a fright. He asked me where he was. Aloria, of course, I told him. Well, anyways, he told me he was heading to the Enchanted Forest to find the evergreen amulet. It is magical. Whoever holds the amulet will receive powers. What else? Elsa asked, now intrigued by the story. Well, that's it, Olaf said. Elsa slumped into her seat in defeat. He didn't say where to find it? Nope. Olaf responded. Elsa and Anna stood up to leave, a little disappointed. As they walked through the door, Olaf chimed in. I wait, he dropped this. Elsa and Anna turned around quickly and saw a piece of paper in Olaf's hand. Looking closer, they discovered it was a map. It was of their world, Aloria. A big red cross stood out, scribbled over the top of the forest, Whisperwood. The excitement built within both girls as they looked at each other eagerly. An adventure, Anna yelled gleefully. Let's pack our bags, Elsa smiled. The next morning, Elsa and Anna set out, ready for their adventure. Map in hand, Elsa checked the directions towards Whisperwood. It didn't take them long to get to the edge of Mist Haven's field. Elsa turned back to look at the village. Was she ready for such an adventure? Anna, however, had already trekked into the forest, leaving Elsa to catch up. Elsa raced after Anna. She couldn't leave her sister to go on her own. Anna bounded gleefully through the forest, between the trees and over the rocks. Elsa was much more cautious. She made sure to keep an eye on the compass at all times. She did not want them getting lost. Following the map carefully, they reached a boarded stone wall. A sign hanging from a nearby tree read, Whisperwood, enter if you dare. Elsa gulped as she read the sign to Anna. It will be fine, Anna said unfazed, and bounded through the opening. Elsa entered the wood and carefully looked around for anything that seemed dangerous. A howl in the distance caught both the girls off guard. What was that, Anna said, a lot less confidently now. I don't know, Elsa admitted, but keep walking. They both walked faster this time, looking around as they did so. Was this amulet worth the danger? Thankfully, the house got more distant the further they walked into the forest. As they got deeper into the woods, everything became quiet. Not a sound could be heard. No birds were tweeting, no crickets were chirping, nothing. A shiver ran down Elsa's spine. There's no noise, Elsa exclaimed quietly to Anna. There's no noise, a voice echoed all around them. What was that? Anna asked quietly. What was that? the voice repeated. Elsa and Anna looked at each other, fear in their eyes. Hey, come out here, Anna bravely called. Hey, come out 
out here, the voice mocked back. A burst of strong laughter followed as a tiny ladybug emerged from behind a tree. It buzzed over to the girls, each with their eyes following it, careful not to lose sight. Sorry I scared you, the ladybug giggled, spinning around gleefully. I haven't seen fairies in a long time and just had to have a laugh. The girls looked at each other and rolled their eyes. Neither of them found the ladybug's antics funny. They turned back around and continued walking. Wait, wait, the ladybug called. Are you here looking for the evergreen amulet? The sisters both stopped in their tracks and turned around. How did you know? Anna asked, confused. A man walked through here a few days ago, mumbling about the evergreen amulet. But the ladybug's sentence cut off as it cackled loudly, spinning around in circles in joy. (laughs) But when I pulled the same prank on him, he ran away screaming. The ladybug laughed so loud now, the sound echoing through the forest. Do you know where to find it? Elsa asked more sternly now. No, the ladybug giggled. Elsa and Anna turned to walk away. But the whisper tree does. The whisper tree? Elsa asked intrigued. Yes, the whisper tree, the ladybug giggled. Follow me. Elsa and Anna followed the excited ladybug as it zoomed in and out of the trees. Should we trust this ladybug? Anna whispered to Elsa. I think so, Elsa responded. After walking for several minutes, the ladybug stopped. We're here, it giggled. Good luck, and then flew away into the forest. The sisters looked around for anything that could be the whisper tree. I think that ladybug tricked us, Anna complained. There is nothing here, and now we are lost. It will be okay, Elsa began. A soft breeze started, causing Elsa to stop speaking. It blew the girls' hair around in circles and into their faces. Trying to hold down their hair, they listened closely. Faint voices were moving along with the wind. As they stood quietly, trying to understand the words in the wind, a shower of leaves rained down on them. Looking up, they noticed the top of the tree shaking wildly, as if it was a dog trying to dry itself. A soft voice yawned. Why are you waking me up so early? Who are you? Its voice came like whispers, blowing around their ears. Shocked, Elsa spoke first. Hello? We're looking for the evergreen amulet. The tree leant down towards Elsa, its whispered voice speaking. Only an act of acceptance can reveal the evergreen amulet. Head towards Moonlight Hollow. With that, the wind disappeared and the birds began to chirp in the trees again. Elsa took the map from her backpack and looked over it. Here, she said, pointing to the map. Moonlight Hollow. It isn't too far away from us. The sisters followed the map, Anna again bounding around gleefully, jumping from rock to rock and climbing over falling tree logs. They made it through the forest and came out into a field of wild and brightly coloured flowers. The smell of the flowers caused both the girls to sneeze. (laughs) They giggled together, noticing a village not far away. Large stone buildings stood spiralling around like a cone. That must be Moonlight Hollow, Elsa smiled as they walked forward. As they walked through the fields of wildflowers, they could hear a crunching sound behind them. But each time they turned, there was nobody there. Finally, Anna had enough. Hey, we know you are there. Come on out. A horn popped out from the flowers, followed by a face. It was a young unicorn. He nervously looked at the two girls and popped his head back into the flowers and out of view. We won't hurt you, Elsa said calmly. Come over here. The unicorn's head popped out again and slowly it floated over the flowers to the sisters. Hello, I'm Elsa and this is Anna. Who are you? Elsa asked. Archaeus, the unicorn squeaked meekly. Well, hello Archaeus, Elsa began. We're looking for the evergreen amulet. Do you know where we would find it? The young unicorn nodded his head slowly and then bounded away towards the village. The girls ran after him, trying to keep up. He led them through the village of unicorns. They marvelled at the bigger unicorns working, using their horn's magic to move and fix. Archaeus continued through the village to the back, where a wonderful clear lake stood. A large and magnificent stone castle sat on top of a mountain, with a stunning waterfall flowing down into the lake. Elsa and Anna gasped. It was so beautiful. There, Archaeus said, pointing towards the waterfall, before trotting away back to the village. Why does nobody stop to give us more answers, Anna huffed. He just pointed at the waterfall. What are we supposed to do? 
The girls sat under a lakeside gazebo thinking to themselves. Maybe we need to climb it, Anna said. No, that's too dangerous, Elsa frowned. Elsa, I understand that you want to keep me safe, but I'm getting bigger. I can do these things. I love you, Anna smiled at her sister. Elsa was unsure. She wiggled in her spot, contemplating what to do. Looking up, she saw Anna's smiling face at her and she knew just what she had to do. She smiled and spoke. Anna, I know you're getting bigger. I just never want to see you get hurt. But I have to let go. I trust you. With those words, the waterfall began to part before them, revealing a small hidden cavern. A glowing green amulet protruded from the mountain. Oh, only an act of acceptance will reveal the amulet, Elsa smiled. That's what the tree meant. We have accepted each other's flaws and we have found the amulet. Elsa then smiled at Anna. Anna, go, she said. Anna ran off eagerly, jumping into the lake and swimming to the base of the waterfall. She carefully held onto the rocks, climbing the mountain between the part in the water. Elsa held her breath in anticipation, proud to see her sister climb so easily. Anna reached the cavern and extended her arm in, pulling out the evergreen amulet. It shone with such intensity that it almost blinded Anna. She held it under her arm and climbed back down the mountain to Elsa. Together, Anna told Elsa, holding out the amulet. Elsa reached out and touched the amulet also. Sparkles shot from the amulet and swirled around the two sisters. A bond never broken, they heard echoed through the air. The amulet shot from the sisters' grip and landed back into the cavern before the waterfall closed around it. A small voice spoke from behind them. It was Archaeus. Now you have the power to heal others, but you need to do it together, he said, before galloping away. Elsa and Anna turned to each other, embracing each other in a hug. It's time to help others, Elsa smiled, and they set off on another adventure. Thank you for listening to our story. The following Elsa and Anna story, as presented through the imaginations of Mama and Me Playtime, is a work of fiction intended for entertainment purposes. While inspired by the beloved characters from a popular franchise, this story is an original creation and not affiliated with any official Disney production. The characters, events and settings portrayed in the story are products of imagination and are not intended to represent the exact canon or storyline of any existing Elsa and Anna tales. Any resemblance to real persons, living or fiction is purely coincidental. Mama and Me Playtime strives to create imaginative and engaging stories that inspire creativity, play and family bonding. We hope you enjoy this Elsa and Anna adventure, crafted with love and imagination, and encourage you to embark on your own magical journeys with your little ones. Remember, the true magic lies within the bonds of love and the power of imagination.